Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am filming another empties. I'm trying to lift this, but it's actually extremely full and it's definitely time to film this video because I also want to film my confessions of a skincare hoarder um, update and there's a lot of empties in here that relate to that project so I thought this would be the easiest way to do things so let's just jump in because I think it's gonna be a long video I'll I'll try to do it quickly um, but for some products I might have more to say than others so the first thing right on top here I just finished the other day the Batiste instant hair refresh the clean and classic original scent dry shampoo I don't think I like this as much as other people do I mean it's great for the price Batiste is like very affordable especially for like how much you get but I feel like this makes me well it makes my scalp like a bit itchy and I don't feel like like when I use dry shampoo first of all I only wash my hair like mm, twice a week maximum because it's so dry and frizzy if you can tell um, so by the time I'm using a dry shampoo it's really like time to wash my hair anyway so and I feel like with my other dry shampoo which was my Aveda Shampoo it's like a powder dry shampoo that one could make me go a few more days without washing my hair because it kind of like worked more over time but this like the next day I really just have to wash it because it makes me too itchy so I don't think I would buy this again at least not in this scent maybe I'll try a different one but they're probably all the same formula so I don't know I don't know how I feel about that it's not my favorite basically so I'm just gonna pull things randomly this is a little mini thieves waterless hand purifier this is the hand sanitizer that I always carry with me it's the thieves scent from Young Living which is like where I get my essential oils from and this is with peppermint oil um, I really like this some people don't like the hand sanitizer the thieves because it smells like cinnamon also um, but I really like the smell of cinnamon so yeah I mean I have more of these so I just keep you know pulling them when I finish one off um, this is a bamboo body polish from the lifestyle co this came in i want to say it came in a boxy lux if it didn't i bought it from the boxy pop-up no i'm pretty sure it came in a boxy lux because i don't think i would have bought a body polish on my own um but this so this, as you see, came in a tub, but it was liquid, and I don't think it's supposed to be. I think something happened to this formula, because it's supposed to be a body polish, so like, you know, like a scrub with like particles, but it was literally liquid. Like, when I used it, I had to pour it out onto my loofah, and I kind of just used it like a shower gel because of how liquidy it was. Um, but there was definitely, it was oil based, um, cause I could feel like an oily residue, but not necessarily in a bad way. I just feel like this product was off, um, but it wasn't bad, it just, I wouldn't buy it again for that reason. Um, so yeah, but it did smell good, it had like a coconutty smell. So that was a body polish that I finished. Oh, these are just boring Kleenex wet wipes for sensitive skin. <laughs> I actually had these forever because these were at my office. Um, well, where I work at the office, not my office, but the office I work in. Um, I used to keep these at my desk just to like, you know, if I was eating lunch at my desk or something, I had this. Um, so they were there for like two years <laughs> while the pandemic was happening 
And then they asked us to come clean our stuff, so I got these. And I used them up. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't normally buy things. I don't normally buy wet wipes anymore if I can help it. But yeah, I had these, so I used them up. I don't know. They're meant to, like, you can use them on your face and stuff. Um, but I really use them kind of like makeup wipes, like for swatches and stuff in my makeup room. Um, this is a soothing sheet mask, aloe infused, from Give Them Lala Skin. So another thing I got in a boxy lux or a boxy charm regular box. I think I have like three or four more of these. Um, so I guess I put it in here to tell you something about it, but now I don't really remember this doing anything. So it's supposed to soothe and soften your skin. I don't know. It was okay, I guess. I don't really remember. <laughs> oh, this. <laughs> this stupid toothpaste. So if you guys haven't seen my other empties videos, I always talk about toothpaste because I'm on a journey to find the best toothpaste. And this was not it. This is not even empty, but I'm getting rid of it because it was horrible. This is the Colgate Sensitive Pro Relief Gentle Whitening. First of all, it wasn't whitening. Um, didn't really help with my sensitive teeth. And it just annoyed me. Like the packaging, first of all, it's a twist off. So you would have to like twist this off, put this down. You know, it's just annoying. It, it should just be like a flip cap, you know? Um, yeah, and I just really didn't like this. And it's like very thick and like hard to rinse. I don't know, very strange. So that was terrible. Um, my favorite currently, I guess it's the Glamour Glamorous White. I think it's Crest. I don't know. That's what I'm using now. Um, this is the Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner. Um, there is like a bit left in here, but it's starting to do that thing where it just like foams when you try to, you know, squirt it out. So I'm considering it done. This was okay. I don't feel like it did anything special. And I'm realizing, because now I'm using a rose face cream from Fresh, and I don't think I want my skincare to smell like rose. I don't mind the smell of rose, but for skincare, I prefer like fruity, like refreshing scents, I guess. So I wouldn't repurchase this, but it was pretty affordable because it's from Trader Joe's. So yeah, um, if you can get it because you can't get Trader Joe's in Canada. But I used to go there uh, two hours drive just to go to Trader Joe's. <laughs> and I'll do it again. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't get that. I have another thing from Trader Joe's, actually. The Natural Facial Cleansing Pads with Tea Tree Oil. These, I really like them, but towards the end, they dried up. So I, the last couple ones, I had to like wet under the sink because they still smelled like tea tree, but there was no like liquid in them. Um, so I would use these like if I had a breakout or at one point I think I was just using these like as my part of my skincare routine and also if I had like eczema or like a rash on my hand which I sometimes get I would use this on it because tea tree oil is really good for that so yeah I liked these. I might get them again, uh, but again, it's from Trader Joe's. It's not that easy for me to pick up. There were 50 pads in here, and I think it was, like, really affordable. Here is a hair product, the Briogeo Rosarco Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioning Spray. I love this. I believe I recommended this in my VIB sale video. I'm pretty sure if I didn't, I meant to because I love this. It smells really good. It actually does feel like it repairs your hair and it helps to detangle. And I love Briogeo products, so I would definitely repurchase this, but I don't need to because I have other 
leave-in conditioners or like detanglers from that I got in boxy charms, but I would definitely get this one again. Oh, this is actually not an empty, but I guess I put it in here because I did use some of them, but this is the Ahava Dead Sea Osmotor Eye Mask. There's six pairs, so I think I have three or four more of these, but yeah, I don't remember anything about this, to be honest. I feel like, are these the ones that are kind of like the Peter Thomas Roth, the gold? I think it was that. I don't know. But I did, I do prefer the Peter Thomas Roth ones, but they're so expensive, so I won't be buying them anytime soon. But yeah, I have more of these, so you might see them in another video um, where I have more to say about this. This is a little mini Sunday Riley CEO C&D Protect and Repair Moisturizer. I think I liked this if I remember correctly. Yeah, it was like a thick cream. Let me check my notes, because I have notes for my skincare video. What did I say about this? I said, um, oh yes, that's right. So I did like it at first. I thought it was very moisturizing and made my skin glowy, um, but I wouldn't pay the full price because it's $86. And then I had an update and I said it actually, I thought it was a little irritating on my skin. Yeah, I think it was, I don't know if it's the vitamin C that was like too potent in this product, but it was like feeling a little itchy on my face after a few times I noticed that. So I wouldn't get this in the full size. I have another vitamin C product, the Ola Henriksen Truth Serum mini size. Um, I'm not going to read too much of, from my notes because you'll see that in my other video about skincare empties. But I like the smell of this. It had like a creamsicle smell. But I don't remember doing anything special so I wouldn't get the full size of this. This on the other hand, this is my favorite. Um, the True Cream Moisturizing Balm from Belief. So this is the, not the jumbo size, but like the regular size. This is my second one that I, second or third, that I've emptied. This is my favorite cream to this day. Even after trying all these other ones, I still would go back to this one. I just haven't repurchased it yet because I have older products to use up. But I love that one. Um, I also really like this, the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream Intense Hydration, safe for sensitive skin, just the travel size. I have another one of these um, to go through. This is a great, like, just really basic cream, like this one, but I still prefer the Belief, but I really liked this also. Um, I was using it as a face cream, so, and it worked really well for my dry skin. This one, the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream, I liked this at first, but then I thought maybe it was breaking me out. But it's also really old, so I don't know what's going on with that. But I really liked the texture of this because it was a gel kind of cream. So it felt really moisturizing and like hydrating on the face, but because I'm worried it broke me out, I don't think I would buy this in the full size. If it came to me again somehow in like a sample, I would try it again to see, but I won't buy it just in case. This is a full size product, the um, Grown Alchemist Detox Serum. I got this from Influencer, right? Yes. And I really liked it. It, I mean, Grown Alchemist is like a pricier brand. I believe because it's from Australia, so it's like, I don't know, probably imported or whatever, but um, does it say? Yeah, made in Australia, so I guess that's why. Um, but I really like like the aesthetic of this brand and like the mission behind it, I guess. It's very much like the products that I make in my Etsy shop, like 
this, um, you know, amber glass jar, very like simple kind of thing. But of course, this is more like, you know, formulated skincare. I just make like oil roll-ons and stuff. But yeah, I don't think I would buy this in the full size because it, I liked it, but it didn't like do anything special where I feel like, oh, I need that in my routine. So. Yeah, that's how I felt about that one. Oh, this is actually an exciting empty because it's a lip product. This is my Tarte Quench Lip Rescue in the shade Nude. As you can see, I even tried to dig it out, but then I realized like if this is not the formula to be doing that with, like you really have to apply it with this applicator because it's so like soft and emollient um but this is one of my favorite lip products like ever um i have two two or three of these like in different shades still in my collection so i don't need to repurchase this but i would if ever i needed to but that was in was this in a project? I think it was in my project pen last year. So I'm glad it's, you know, I finally used it up. This was just a eye serum mask, like a one-off from Sephora, a sample from Erno Laszlo. Um, this was okay. I wouldn't buy these full price because you buy them in a pack of five and I think it's like 50 something dollars. So yeah not worth it to me but I remember I think I said that I liked how these felt because they didn't like slip off my face and everything but that's not a reason to like justify buying these. I also finished another face cream the Ola Henriksen Sheer Transformation Perfecting Moisturizer so if you couldn't tell I'm trying to get through all my skincare samples deluxe sizes and things that are getting old so that's why I went through tons of these um, this one is another thing I don't think they make anymore or, or if they repackaged or reformulated or I don't know what but I, f I think I also thought this was irritating my skin a little yeah and it seems to be discontinued so it doesn't matter but I finished that I finished a deluxe sample of a living proof restore perfecting spray i actually really liked this i didn't think i would because the living proof dry shampoo i know people love that i hated the smell of it and even josh hated it so much like i would spray it well this is when we lived in the condo so it's a much smaller <laughs> area but if I would spray it in my room, he would smell it, like in the living room, and be like, what is that smell? It just smelled so like chemically and like cleaning product that it really turned me off from living proof. But this product didn't smell like that, and it actually was really nice, and I felt like it made a difference in my hair. So I would consider getting this again too. This is a conditioning detangling spray, by the way. But I still think I like my Briogeo, Briogeo one better. Oh, this is a box. Oh, the sponge is in there too. This is one of those spun, spongele, um products. So it's a sponge that comes with the soap like in built into it. So you just wet it in the shower. Um, I think I like this. It's The scent was Freesia Pear. I don't remember it smelling like pear though. Um, it wasn't like my favorite scent. Um, I can't really remember much about this. I don't know. It was okay. I don't think I would buy this again. At least not in this scent. But if I got it from BoxyCharm or something, I wouldn't mind like trying a different scent of this. Because it's actually kind of convenient to have in your shower. Because you just, you just wet it and like, you know, wash your body with it. And you don't need separate tools and stuff so that was nice oh these are my first aid beauty facial radiance pads these are my favorite 
face pads but I I don't think I would buy these at least not full price because they're like $48 first of all but this is the travel size version this is only 28 pads I think I got this in a boxy charm but I have had another size like this that I bought myself um, and I really like them. I feel like they actually make a difference. I just can't like really justify the price for something that you use once and then throw away. It just feels like wasteful. I don't know, but these are really good. <laughs> oh, here's my Peter Thomas Roth Hydrogel Eye Patches. I think this is a sample size. Like there's 15. 15 pairs and a spatula came with a spatula but I kept that for using with my body cream but I really like these and I've mentioned these before in a video I think I did I recommend these in my VIB sale video I'm pretty sure because if you actually want eye patches that do something and like after first use you see results then you should get these because it's kind of crazy they actually like smooth your lines and make your skin look firm under your eye. Of course it doesn't last like you can't just do it once and then it's a miracle like you'd have to keep using them. But it was nice to have for like um, and going to an event or going out somewhere I and mean, if you feel like your eyes are really tired or like puffy these were really nice to have. I just don't think I would buy them full price. When I got these, it was like a special Sephora event, and they were not expensive at all. But the full price of these is like somewhere near like hundreds of dollars. <laughs> okay, not hundreds, but it's up there. Let's just look. Yes, so the full size is actually only 30 pairs, so double this, and it's $98. So... I'm not buying that, but if you want to and you have that money to spend on eye patches, get those ones. Um, what else is here? So this was a Young Living Easy Breeze Awakening Shower Steamers. I would not buy these again. I just, I don't think I have the right kind of shower situation to benefit from something like this. Because we have like a an old like you know clawfoot bathtub and it just there's like nowhere to put a shower steamer where the water isn't directly going on it so they didn't last long either um, and I feel like this is something I could make myself with like baking soda and essential oil and whatever but they did smell good I just I don't I wouldn't buy them again um, I think there was, yeah, there were four steamers in here, but yeah, there's that. Another Young Living product, the Morning Star Bath and Shower Gel. This is really old. Oh yes, I did like this. I like the smell of this. Um, what is it? <laughs> it's obviously with this essential oil. It, I think it was eucalyptus. Does it not say anywhere? Well, it's called Morning Start, so it was a nice, like, refreshing scent. Yeah, lemongrass. I definitely smell the lemongrass. Rosemary, peppermint. Okay, for some reason I thought this had something to do with eucalyptus, but maybe not. So I liked this. I just don't... I didn't need to repurchase it because I have other shower gels that I got uh, from my mom and from BoxyCharm so but I might buy this one again because I, I like my shower gels to smell like refreshing and like uplifting you know oh here's another product from Young Living <laughs> the Valor deodorant I don't think yeah I didn't even finish this because I hated it well I love the smell of Valor, it's one of their like essential oil blends, but this deodorant did not work for me. No, it made me smell worse, actually. 
Um, it's just, I don't know, the formula doesn't work for me. It's like a natural deodorant without aluminum or parabens, but it did not work. Um, I really like my Sol de Janeiro deodorant, so I wouldn't buy any Young Living deodorants again, but I really love Valor. Um, because it has like a nice peppery smell, but just this deodorant did not work for me. Oh, here's another toothpaste. <laughs> a Crest Pro Health. Um, I don't remember much about this one. It was in my travel bag. I'm sure I liked it more than the Colgate sensitive whatever. Um, oh, another face cream. The Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer. This was another product in my travel bag. Um... This was okay. I feel like it was a very thick cream considering it didn't really moisturize that much. Like I feel like maybe someone with normal or normal to oily skin would like this better because I didn't find it very moisturizing. It was okay. I don't know. Oh, my mini Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I was so excited when I finished this because it was another... A product from my primer category that would be out of my collection. Um, I loved this. I would get maybe not the full size, maybe like a mini size of this. Um, it's a really thick moisturizing cream but it works really well under makeup. I just don't need to purchase any more primers. I'm actually on a primer no buy so I won't be buying that anytime soon. This one, the Amore Pacific, the Essential Cream Fluid. I really love this. I mentioned it in my um, skincare hoarder series. I added this to my Sephora loves list. I'm not gonna buy it anytime soon and I probably wouldn't buy it full price because it's $129. But this is amazing for dry skin. It's like a really hydrating moisturizer but in a serum texture and it just was really nice like the whole experience and everything I really liked that product it's just very expensive oh I have one more cream and then the rest is some essential oils and stuff so if you don't care about that I guess you can <laughs> skip the rest but this is the ultra repair hydrating serum this i hated um i'm not sure if this went off like if it was well it's really old for sure but it it was not a serum texture it was like a thick gel and i feel like it did absolutely nothing so if you're gonna get anything from the ultra repair line get the cream don't get the serum because it's not good <laughs> Okay, so oh, before the essential oil, this is actually a weird product. This is was a herbal supplement, and I got this in a Boxy Lux. Very strange product to get from Boxy Charm because a lot of people would not want to use a product like this. It's very like, what's the word? Alternative medicine, <laughs> I guess you would say. But I used up the whole thing. And I actually loved it. Um, I don't know if it did anything, but I didn't get sick while I used it. It's the, it's from the brand The New Co, like N-U-E. And it's a rosemary, what is this even? I don't even know, cause it's weird. Immunity, rosemary, astra, Gallus? I don't know. Reishi? I don't know. Defense drops. It's It was literally like, it's like vitamins but in liquid form. And you would just take a whole dropper in your mouth and swallow it. And it actually tasted really good because <laughs> there's stevia in this. Oh yeah, I could have just looked on the back. So it's a propri proprietary blend of organic echinacea. Uh, some words I can't pronounce. Organic astragalus root, organic rosemary herb, and organic schizandra berry. Um, but it was really sweet. There must be stevia in this, but it doesn't say so. Anyway, I wouldn't buy this again, but I wouldn't mind if it came into my life again. 
I kind of liked it. And yeah, so for the essential oils, I just have three this time. If you guys didn't know, I have an Etsy shop. I make essential oil perfumes and lip balms and some like skincare kind of things. So when I have empties, it's, it's not only because I diffuse them, but I use them in products, if you're wondering. But I have a Thieves essential oil. So unlike the Thieves hand sanitizer, this has like a more spicier smell. I think it's the clove. Yeah, clove is what I smell first. But I love Thieves for cleaning. Um, for diffusing too, if you have like allergies or you just want to like purify the air it's really good for that then i have northern lights black spruce this is one of my favorite essential oils it's it smells like trees it's beautiful and it's really nice in perfume because it gives it that like woodsy smell i actually have a full size of this one this is just a mini and i have a full size of stress away i have another full size of this because i had a backup this smells, people say this smells like vacation in a bottle. I don't even remember what's in this, but it smells really good and I use it for a lot of things and sometimes just for diffusing because it really, it means it's called stress away. So it makes you feel, I don't know, calm. Uh, but that's it. That is everything. I think that went not as long as I thought it might. So if you care about knowing more about the skincare empties you'll see that again in my skincare hoarder series where i talk about products i used up and like um how much they cost versus like the big size and what i'm using now that's in that video but yeah so i hope you like this video if you did give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye